When a baby graduates from the NICU at East Tennessee Children's Hospital, they go home with a tiny homemade hat. Often the memento marks the first big milestone in that child's life. Reporter Katie Inman introduces us to the woman who makes most of those hats. She explains how this volunteer uses her hobby to share her heart. Jared and Katie Givens are thankful for every cry. Okay. Because there was a time their baby Grady was fighting for his life. I kind of noticed that I wasn't feeling him move. So it was an emergency C-section. They didn't really know what was going on. Six weeks early, so it was really scary. Grady spent the next seven weeks in the NICU at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. You knew that places like the NICU exist. Yeah. Until you really live it, you really don't fully understand. Yeah. Eventually, he got a diagnosis and a graduation. Our nurses helped us, you know, put together the little board and we got this cute little graduation hat and they had a little graduation outfit. The first milestone stitched together with love. I kind of pray as I do each hat because I always think yeah, I could have a grandchild there one day and I want them to be loved and taken care of. Linda Clark is the woman behind hundreds of hats donated to the NICU. The mother will always look at the hat then as a memory of where you came from and look at you now. This former missionary spends time every day knitting and crocheting for people she will never meet. I hope they all know that I make it with the intent of helping somebody out. We don't do it to get a thank you. We just do it because that's what we're supposed to do. It's a calling and hobby from the heart. Because then everyone says you should open up Etsy, you should do a shop. No, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to just whatever I do, I'm going to give away. Looking at her own five month old granddaughter. They were blessed. She knows the power of caring yeah. through her craft. I may not impact the baby, but I might impact the parent that needs it. To the givens, it did just that. This helps you remember the struggle. Yeah, yeah. And you'll never forget. Now they can soak in every sniffle oh and focus on family. Oh in Knoxville, oh, yeah. I'm Katie Inman. What is that? Oh my goodness, does that not just warm your heart? That mom and dad say their stay in the NICU has inspired them to volunteer and give back to Children's Hospital. They say once they're older, they want to comfort babies and families as well. Ah, oh, that has to just put a smile on your face. And so